Well, this news dropped a few days back. I looked at it, and I was extremely disappointed. But I figured maybe it wasn't too true. But apparently I'm wrong. This information was confirmed on O3CD and some other sites. Uh, AMD's RX Vega launching price was only for early sales. The introductory price is what they're calling it. When AMD first revealed their RX 64 Vega reference design, many were pleased with AMD's listed price of 499 or 449 in the UK, placing AMD's GPU in line with some of the cheapest NVIDIA GTX 1080 offerings today. Yesterday, when AMD's RX Vega 64 launched, the pricing didn't hold for any reasonable length of time. With prices increasing within an hour of Vega's retail release, many including O3CD, WCCF Tax, etc., assumed that this was due to the demand. Now it has been revealed that this is an intentional price increase, not from retailers, but from AMD themselves. Here is a quote from Overclockers UK. Now for the good and the bad news. The good news is AMD is rebating early launch sales to allow us to hit the 449 on the standalone black card, which has no games. This is a launch only price which AMD at present are saying will be withdrawn in the future. When and if that happens is unknown, but remember, do not be shocked that the price jumps nearly $100 in a few days. This time around, there is no early adopter tax, quite the opposite, on the standalone black card, so do be quick. We've also made some bundles as well. These bundles feature no discount. What you get is two AAA titles known as Prey and yet to be released Wolfenstein 2 PC games, worth a solid $50 between them. They include the black card, which has a 100 discount up front. So by buying the bundles, you get the black card at launch, discounted price, but also you score two free games. Uh, the air version will now be $5.99 American and the liquid version will become $6.99 respectively. This is AMD shooting itself in the foot. It really is, in my personal opinion. Let's say you didn't get a Vega. Let's say you tried to get one and it sold out. We all know the damn card is like a miner's dream. The Vega cards are already doing what a 1080 Ti and a Titan can do. What is it, uh, 33 or some mega hashes or something per hour? I'm not 100% sure, but pretty much what Titan offers 35, and the Vega comes in at a fraction of the cost. So you know miners are buying this thing. You know most gamers probably didn't get their hands on it. Currently on Newegg, if I were to try and grab one myself, I would literally have to pay for a fucking bundle to get one of these graphics cards. Then I'd have to get an extra monitor with it. Like, where is the bargain for me personally? And the fact that there's gonna be a price increase I find to be completely and utterly retarded. For the simple fact that the Vega card isn't burning up the world. The fact that the 56 version is trading blows with a 1070 and on occasions, it's barely getting away from a 980 Ti, a three-year-old fucking card. What's the excuse here? What's the reasoning? This. It just sucks. If you couldn't get one at launch, you're boned. If you can only afford one, if you're like, well, I'm not getting one now, but in a year, I'm going to definitely get a Vega card to help make sure that there's competition in the market. What the fuck's the incentive now if you know it's going to go up a hundred bucks? A hundred bucks and you know you could get more bang for your buck with an aftermarket 1080 Ti. I'm pretty sure a 1080, not, not a 1080 Ti, a simple 1080, you fucking cunt. Because I'm pretty sure an EVGA 1080 Come here, bitch. All right, so if the Vega jumps up to 599, plot twist, it already did. You can get a Gigabyte 1080 G1 for 549, or you could get the Gigabyte blower design for 509, and everybody knows the Vega cards pretty much trade blows with the reference version. So that's already $100 cheaper. Yeah, you don't get any games with it, but do you really care that much unless you're die hard for Wolfenstein? And $699 for the liquid cooled Vega, you could get a GTX 1080 Ti for $699 from Gigabyte, which I'm pretty sure Vega's never gonna touch or beat a 1080 Ti. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's happening. As much as people want to believe it, as much as we all like to have thought it was gonna happen, I don't see that being a reality. Even a door TV who seems to be very pro AMD 
has said himself he doesn't believe they're ever going to touch that. So what's the incentive anymore for Vega? Unless you are die hard sticking it to Nvidia, which I guess I can understand, but from a consumer standpoint, this price hike sucks dick, I don't see the point of it. Uh, maybe they're thinking they can make more money off of miners, because lord knows the miners will buy these motherfuckers. So AMD will get their money, I just don't, I don't get it. There's no point in Vega now. I mean, you already know, miners are going to buy Vega, so you're better off getting an Nvidia card if you just want a game. I'm actually perturbed by this. I didn't see Vega doing something like this. I didn't see Nvidia, I mean, I didn't see AMD doing something like this. And initially, I wanted to say Nvidia. I wanted to say Nvidia doing this. Shit, the cards are already $599 and $699. They already are. So when I took these screen caps like a day or two ago, the price hike had already happened. Huh, ain't that about a bitch. They really dropped the ball here. I remember when Roger Kadori did the first Vega press conference and he said, we are aiming past Pascal, which led to all the hype, which led to everybody thinking, wow, Vega is going to be something super special. I know you're going to tell me about rapid pack math and how it can make hair look better in games and how rapid pack math is going to make PlayStation 4 catch up with the Xbox One X. And frankly, you know what? Whenever I hear some sort of PC tech is going to make a console better, I immediately just disregard everything about it. Just like DX12. When they said DX12 was going to the Xbox One, it was going to make the Xbox One faster than the PlayStation 1080p 60fps, and I'm like, sure, DX12 will do that, and my dick will grow a whole three inches. I'm going to be hung like a quail, baby. And then it did absolutely nothing. Just like Rapid Pack Math will not do anything spectacular for the PlayStation 4 Pro to make it catch up with the raw horsepower of the Xbox One. I'm disgruntled with this. I know there are going to be a lot of people mad at me for this. They're going to be pissed off. They go, well, Nvidia shit. So on and so forth. Ingredia. Blah, blah, blah. I get that. I get that you want AMD to do well to the point of where it's like anything that is negative is not something you want to hear as a narrative. But the facts are right there in our face. There's no way of sugarcoating it. There's no giving the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure people will talk about the fine wine drivers of AMD. But in a day and age where it's instant gratification, you're paying for something that kicks ass right now, not a year down the line. Not two years down the line. And by the time AMD's fine wine drivers make Vega maybe something worth looking at, Volta will already be out. And at that point, nobody's going to be talking about Vega catching up with Pascal because everybody will be on to Volta. You know, it's like MotoGP. Yeah, you finally made a bike that can compete with last year's Yamaha M1, but it's 20 motherfucking 17, and the new Honda isn't fucking around, nor is the M1 or the Ducati. What are you talking about, Gundam? And I'm also noticing people like uh, the good old gamer saying things like, Vega's a stepping stone to Nivea or Nava or whatever, and frankly, I'm sick of this waiting game. I'm sick of the whole... Wait for Vega, and now Vega's here, and already have people telling me, wait for Nivea, or Neva, whatever the hell it's called, and I'm like, no, no, I don't like this. I don't like this, I don't want, it's, finally it's here. Oh, it's not what we expect. Wait till the next one. That's gonna be the one that's gonna change the game. I know we said it was this one, but next time around. And in light of the fact that AMD CPUs are killing it, the fact that their GPUs are lagging behind is disheartening. It really is. And since I'm not a paid guy, I can actually say this, you know? They're not sending me any free samples. I'm not lying as tech tips. I'm not going to sit here and create a dumbass thumbnail of me tweaking my nipples 30 degrees to the right and winking into the screen as everybody clicks on the clickbait. The same man who pretty much was in the pocket of NVIDIA and Intel and then turns around, ship talks Intel, talks about how the X299 platform is rushed and the whole Skylake X is not that great. And then as soon as the damn CPU comes out and the motherfucker flips flops faster than Donald Trump, Better not do any political sort of stuff because people really get pissed. But point being, the dude fucking flip-flop like there was no tomorrow. I've never seen, the only time I've seen a flip-flop that fast is when your girlfriend's about to break up with you and then she realized the guy she likes is actually a heroin addict and she totally changes her mind and acts like the whole thing didn't happen. Oh no, we didn't break up yesterday. Uh, yeah we did. You told me you're going off of Kip. What happened there? I don't remember that at all. You must have been dreaming. Uh, yeah, I've got the text boxes just right here. Uh, well, I, <laughs> Are we really going to do this? Oh, well. Seriously, that's it for me. Because if I continue on, I'll pontificate for 30, 40 minutes. It'll continuously go on in an endless loophole of analogies and cursing like a sailor. You know the whole spiel. I can't actually give more of a shit than me about anything in this world. You know, rate, comment, subscribe if you so choose. If not, the hell with it.
you know follow me on any of the social media platforms if you choose in doing so i grow in stature and i cannot be ignored forever by the tech industry and i'm sure someone will tell me maybe you shouldn't curse well maybe republica gamers and you know gigabyte and so on shouldn't of course there too shouldn't sit there and promote cam girls who have their tits out all right they have full sponsorships it's a girl with her nips out and you're gonna tell me me flipping around a few curse words is is that bad hmm really really a girl sucking on a banana it, that's fine to sponsor but me saying the seven dirty words is too much i'm out of here screw this screw this i'm going to california with an aching in my heart where the hell's that guitar I'm gonna play you some led zeppelin you ungrateful bastards all right, adios, fichachos.